I was driving the other day in my neighborhood. You never drive in your neighborhood, you see like on telephone poles, you'll see signs and a reward for a found dog or a missing cat, something like that. I wish I was making this up. I memorized it. Here you go. You ready? Reward. <laughs> missing giant tortoise. <laughs> Has been in our family over 65 years. <laughs> Weighs over 500 pounds. <laughs> Here's my favorite part. And is gray. <laughs> Why are you telling me the color? Are you gonna be out with your friends looking for this thing and she's like, there it is! I'm like, no, no, that's a 565-year-old brown tortoise that must not be the one I'm looking for. I'm trying to focus, shut up. Here's my question. First of all, how irresponsible are you? You can't keep track of a 500-pound, 65-year-old tortoise? The only thing slower than that is a rock. No, seriously. Second of all, how long do you have to be gone from home <laughs> before a 500 pound, 65 year old tortoise is even out of eye shot? A month? <laughs> now I can still see it. <laughs> and who passes down a tortoise generation to generation? <laughs> well, son, you've graduated college. You're a man now. Here's Tippy. <laughs> ah, thanks. This is the perfect pet for my third floor walk up apartment. <laughs> So you're laughing. I tell my buddy, who is a comedian, thinking he'll appreciate this story. And he, he doesn't even pause. He goes, oh, you know what happened? The people probably went on vacation and the tortoise panicked. <laughs> Dude, can tortoises panic? Is that a thing? I've watched a lot of nature shows. I've never seen tortoise panic on their face. I mean, tortoise, uh, do those words don't even go together. I'd make it a nice day for a punk band. You're like, tortoise panic. You know, <laughs> But this is the same friend of mine, right? Uh, I've known this guy about 10 years, and he goes, hey, guess what? I quit smoking. And I'm like, I never knew you smoked. I never saw him smoke. And I said, when did you smoke? He goes, I wasn't proud of it. I just did it now and then, so I quit. So of course, I'm his friend, so I asked him, like, are you okay? Everything healthy? You good? And he goes, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fine. And I'd never smoked, so I was curious. I said, well, what was the thing that made you want to quit? His words, he goes, I can't take any more of these commercials, the people with the holes in their necks. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Have you seen those? There's they, they, like 15 of these commercials. They're pretty disturbing, but they, they would wake me up if I was a smoker. There, there's two that freak me out. The one guy, he's in the shower, which makes sense. Hey, I'm naked. I got a hole in my neck. I'm vulnerable. Bring in the camera crew. I, it's... <laughs> but he's showering. He's like, if you're taking a shower. <laughs> if you're taking a shower, make sure you cover up your neck hole. Yeah. Yeah. Instant access to your internals. Maybe keep the scalding hot water out of it. That would be job one. It's called a stoma. But the second, the other commercial is my favorite. The woman, she goes, if you're choking to death, it's not mouth to mouth, it's mouth to stoma. Okay. Listen, if you're my friend and you have a hole in your neck and you're choking, you're gonna die. No. 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 No, I'm not putting my mouth on your blowhole, all right? I'm not happening. Plan your life better, all right? I just chew more thoroughly, whatever you gotta do, man. And that's like the one be benefit, right? You got like a Dorito stuck in there, you're like, hang on. <laughs> Actually, sorry, hang on. <laughs> 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 There's like 20 of those commercials. What is the lobby like for auditions for that? You get like 20 people in the waiting room? I really hope I book this. <laughs> this could be my big break. <laughs> How long have you been waiting? I mean, if you can't book this, that's on you. It says right on the breakdown, must have a legit hole in your neck. That's the job you've been waiting for. Agent calls you, you booked it, woohoo! Sorry, woohoo. Sorry. I was worried there'd be some guy out in the audience, hey man, that's not funny. I'm gonna beat you up after the show. You'll see me outside the theater, I'll be like this, like, all right, let's go. I win, all right. You guys are on board, I like it, that's nice. Hi, and thanks for watching. Be sure to download the Drybar Comedy app and use promo code Lou Santini when you sign up.